Generic greetings and welcome to Slice and Dice, today's beverage is. A nice traditional cup of tea, the perfect beverage for dungeon crawling and rolling some d6, which is handy because we'll be rolling a lot of those during this game. Either way, welcome to Slice and Dice. This is a turn-based combat dungeon crawler with roguelike elements where essentially we have some heroes and we have to traverse different stages and defeat all manner of bad guys and monsters like skeletons and slimes, witches, etc. And the way we do that is by rolling a dice for each of our heroes and whatever is rolled is what we can do. However, we can hold actions, we can re-roll those, so it's about risk assessment and risk mitigation and taking your chances, getting the right cards, whether it be attack, defense, etc. You can also get different heroes and uh, different equipment as well. So it's a lot easier to actually show than explain, so I'm going to jump in and show you the game in but a moment. But I should point out this is available for both Android and PC. There are demos available as well. I own and I've put the majority of my time into the Android version. Uh, this is actually just the PC demo, but they are identical as far as I can tell, apart from obviously touch controls, etc. But yes, what you're going to see here is what is available for uh, both both uh, ecosystems. Anyway, with that said and done, I'm going to jump in and show you a little bit of this marvellous game. Let's go to normal mode and overwrite a save, and it'll just go through its first turn sort of rolling of dice. I'm not doing anything here, it's just doing its own thing. So on the left-hand side, we have our characters. So we have our thief, a warrior, defender, acolyte, and an adept. So those are the ones you start with. We can right-click on them. It shows you their name, their portrait, their health, which is four out of four, and the sides of the dice. So we have on this thing, we again, Left click on that one. Oh, shows the level as well. So we've got things like uh, one range damage, two melee damage, one range damage. What we've actually rolled, which is two damage. We've got a defense, and then there's like a blank here, or botch as I tend to call it. So at the start of each phase, the enemies, in this particular case, the witch and the wolf, will roll their dice. And again, we can uh, right click on that to see what the chances are of those rolling things. So it's again about knowing what's on the dice and figuring out uh, your re-rolls and such. But anyway, they have rolled a two damage poison attack. Poison also inflicts poison damage at the end of each turn. So they are hitting the defender. That's denoted by, if we click on them, the line. And also it's quickly identified with the little bit of colour on the left hand side of their portrait. So the wolf is attacking blue, blue being the adept. On the left hand side we can also see the health, so thief is on 4-4, four, four, warrior on 5-5. Five, five. Anything that's in yellow is the potential damage this turn, so that's what they're going to take. Anything in green is the poison. But the main takeaway and what we need to focus on is in the centre here. So they've done their attacks, we can't do anything about that. This is what we've rolled. So, for example, the thief, which is orange, has rolled this thing here, which is a 2 damage, which is the highest damage they can possibly do. So what I'm going to do is click on that, left click, and that locks in their action. So that's what they're going to do. We have the acolyte here, who has rolled a heal 3, but nobody's currently damaged, so there's no point in holding that. This one is a blank, or a botch as I tend to call it. This one is shield 1, which is the lowest that could possibly roll in terms of shielding. And this is shield 2, which is the highest that it can roll, because it's shield 2, shield 2, shield 2, shield 1. It may look very simple, and one could argue that it is. However... After playing just a couple of rounds, you'll be able to just quickly look at these and identify, right? That's shield and that's the number two. Sometimes it'll be a big block and a one above it. That's six. It just It's very, very readable, which I uh, do appreciate. So I'm going to say, right, the thief is going to do their attack. You can put that back if you need to, uh, which is fine. So you don't lock it in and then cancel it. The game is quite forgiving in that front. And there's also an undo button, which I'll show you later on. So I'm going to lock in the defender and I'm going to re-roll the rest of these dice. So you have two re-rolls to start with. You can get more re-rolls as you progress on with different equipment and heroes and it depends on what you've rolled we have a shield one we have a mana two mana is used to cast at the bottom i'm going to pick mana two we've also got this heart one but that's actually increase our max hp so I'm going to do that, and the shield one I think is also fairly poor, so I'm going to re-roll that finally, and we only got that. But once we're out of re-rolls, it just puts the remaining dice into the characters, and that's what we have. So now that we've got all of these uh, selected, either by just bringing out of re-rolls or saying yes, we are done rolling, we now have to set up the attacks. So the wolf is attacking the adept, and the witch is attacking the defender with poison, and that is horrible. So what I'm going to do is go 
for, um, I'm probably going to try and take the wolf out first, because it's got the, actually no, it doesn't got the fewest number of health, I'm going to go with the witch then. So I'm going to use the thief to attack for two, so I just click on that and then click on the witch and we get the little uh, animation there. Warrior, again on the witch, that's uh, them down to three health, so I have half health them, which is good. I'm going to go with the defender and they're going to defend to themselves, so you can see they're going to defend against the damage but not against the poison. The adept, uh, goes, that's good. they're going to take a three damage, which is really bad. There is a couple of options. I can use their action. To, well, their action is basically to generate mana, and we can either spend that on burst. Burst is a standard spell, which is either cause two damage or, or two damage on an opponent, or shield ourselves for two. I'm going to use the second part of that, so just click on the adept. So we've got shield two, and we can see the shield numbers to the right hand side of the characters. So I could have selected this guy to defend the adapt and then use burst on that one. It doesn't matter if th those can be used on uh, any of them. And then the acolyte is also going to increase the number of health on the defender because, quite frankly, two poison is going to cause me all manner of issues. Once you've used all of your options here, it will flash on the bottom right to say end turn. So we'll click on that and then they're going to attack. So the attacks are fairly poor, but it's the poison that's really done me in. So you can see the defender here has uh, got two poison and is also going to get attacked again. We have rolled attack two on the thief i'm going to pick that we've rolled defense two on the defender which is good we've got heal three on the acolyte which i'm going to pick i'm going to re-roll the other two dice that is a mana two i'm going to re-roll the other warrior which is shield one so not great the witch i should point out is doing a four damage heavy attack which they target enemy with the highest hp so a lot of attacks have um well not just attacks, but also just dice sides in general may have specific restrictions. So, for example, heavies, you have to attack targets with the highest HP. Some have, like... Um uh, like a bonus where every time you use it increases the damage or shielding some of it might not be able to target enemies at a certain range and all that sort of thing anyway on the adapt we'll cast that we'll get our mana we're going to go for our attack on the witch which is done and then they're down to one health which is a bit of a shame because i can't cause any more damage gonna heal up the defender gonna probably put some defense on the warrior and defense on the adept and then i'm going to use oh actually no undo so i can press the undo button at the bottom as long as we haven't confirmed anything so let's just bring that back to the there. So I'm going to go probably with two damage on them. You're going to cast that and then go burst, which means that that character is now gone, so the attack isn't there, which means the warrior doesn't have to defend themselves. So I can defend against. Well, that wolf is doing a slash, is it? Yeah, it's slashing this one, the acolyte, but it's cleaving, so it does all three. So it doesn't particularly matter. So I'll shield those. I'll shield those, and then I'll put the health up for the defender, because again, that poison is going to slowly eat away at us. So we'll end the turn there. And there's the attacks. They're going to do another roll, which in this case is a bite, and they're biting the acolyte. If they're flashing red like that, and also you've got a skull on the bottom right, uh, and those will increase depending on the amount of heroes that are going to die, well, yeah, that the heroes are going to die. So that one is going to die if we don't do anything. Now, you do get them back at the end of the round. Um, we'll come to that later. But let's just pick those. I'm going to re-roll the rest of them because they're fairly poor. Uh, that's a good one. Those are fairly bad. Let me re-roll them. But we may end up rolling. Yes, we've got, a, we've got nothing. Absolutely nothing on that character, which is a shame. So Thief, two damage. Warrior, two damage. Defender will defend the Acolyte. They say thanks because we've saved them from death. And then put the heat. Uh, put the health up on the defender just to keep those in the fight and the turn job done and there we go losing some health and too much of a problem i only need to cause two damage so it's not really going to matter and we've already got a two damage there's increase our health by two but it doesn't matter because it doesn't uh, carry over so we take them out and job done so all of the heroes go back to full health or, by, or should i say their default starting health so the thief is on four warrior on five defender on five etc regardless of poison or any other factors or any of that if they however they were defeated in that fight they would come back on high half health so 11 12 or uh, sorry 11 2 of 12 it only goes to 12 because this is the demo in the full version i think it goes up to 20 and there's a lot more enemies and uh, you know characters and such so we're going to select that and we now have some new people we have a guardian level two uh or this might be level of rating uh and then we got uh, glacier as well so i'm going to go for i think we're going to go for the guardian maybe yeah, they're not too bad. And we can see what dice they have. So they have a shield 2, which is... Oh, times 2 uh, versus... That's that's in, in gauge. Times 2 versus targets on full HP. So if they're on full HP, you gain... That goes up to that goes up to 4. That's a very good defensive tactic. You also have a uh, shield with cleave, so it hits either side. So if I did the defender, it would do the warrior and the acolyte in this list. And we have a... Um, 
also cleave one damage like sort of spike here and then sadly two two zeros there so there's a it's like a 33 percent chance of rolling nothing but there you go i'm gonna pick those because why not uh inventory wise we don't have anything to move across and there's nothing in our inventory and let's just continue so we are now reversing a rat and four sets of arches. You can see that the rat is pushed up a little bit further forward. That's because these arches have a passive. And again, I'm just going to left click on that. If you're unsure about anything, you can just left click on there. Whoops. <laughs> uh, depends if you're selecting dice. But yeah, the enemies, you can just left click on them. Uh, sorry, not right click. And it shows you there. And you can see like they're passive. So back row starts at the back. So we can't attack those. Uh, yet so i'm going to try and destroy this rat we're going to go with uh those two are good i thought all those are good apart from this one i'm just going to re-roll that one sadly the warrior and the adept are going to get destroyed if we don't do anything so i'm going to try and fix that we have got one two three of the arches uh so it's two four six because i'm just counting the little lines there six damage on the warrior uh, okay, so I want to take an arch out if possible, but I need to destroy the rat first. The rat is attacking the adept, which is three, four, five, so that will be killed. But if I use, however, our adept to say cast, uh, oh, well, actually, we're done rolling. So we'll cast that off. We will go with a thief for the rat and then a warrior on the rat. That's going to take them out of the fight. Not only has that made sure that the adept is still going to stay alive, we can also put some. Uh, one of those on there, the shielding. Um, it also means that we now have these to deal with. So I can go with probably burst on one of the arches, which is going to, again, stop them attacking. Extra health will go on the adept or adapt. Uh, enter. Yeah, there we go. Like I say, I'm not too concerned because these are only got two health each now. And as long as we roll some decent stuff, we'll be able to destroy those. All oh, that's uh, two, three, three damage, which is fairly bad. There is two damage. There is um shielding that's okay that's increased health in fact that's all right apart from this dice i want to get another damage dice oh i'm gonna risk it i'm gonna risk it and it's worked out so yes i uh when i rolled that it was actually on uh it was only on the shield one, I think. Uh, not range one. I wanted one of these two. So the chances were all right. Anyway, so we'll go for a guardian on themselves. Actually, no. What we do because there's two of them attacking the warrior and one attacking... You know what? I'm, I don't know why I'm worried about it. Two health. Two health. And burst for two health. There you go. Job done. End of turn. So we now have an item. This is uh, something we've just found here. We have worn arms. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, replace the top and bottom sides with two damage and two shield. So, for example, if we put it on the thief, we'd have two shield on the top and two attack on the bottom. We don't want that. I, I don't think I want any of that. And um, what actually happened is I didn't click far enough and I've actually selected that. So, yes, I've got this this thing that I really don't want now. Um, although putting it on the warrior is not too bad. It makes him a bit more defensive but a bit more aggressive. I can do that, or on the thief. Uh, it takes the ranged away, but quite frankly, I don't particularly care. I'm going to do that on the thief, so they're always going to roll either a bit of defense or damage. Although, putting it on that guy will make sure that we're on... No, I'll put it on the warrior. It feels better on the warrior. Okay, we have a boar, a wolf, and a rat. Okay, uh, down the bottom, it shows our tracker, by the way, moving along. Uh, obviously, these little boxes are our fight, and then we've got like a, a boss fight, essentially. Um, if you are getting stuck, you can always go up to the top there, and this uh, has a, your different help section, so it tells you the basics, rolling combat, and spells. I'll show the heroes that you can get, so you've got like tier 1, tier 2, uh, tier 3, and as I said, I think in the full version there's more. Same as all the items, which may be locked behind certain achievements and stuff. Certainly it in the, is it in the Android, and then lots of enemies. So there's a lot of replay built here, and lots of different... Uh, things to experience let's just re-roll a dice and crack on with that is that a boar four damage that is four damage that is wolf three damage and wolf two damage so we'll go with probably that is fine we'll re-roll the others because they are terrible in almost every way we'll take two damage we'll take uh, re-roll those i don't think it's going to work out oh it worked out perfectly that's brilliant so we're going to go with guardian on the acolyte uh, actually no undo what can we kill? I can technically kill one of the... I can kill the rat if need be. Uh, do I really want to do that? Well, probably. Boar's going to attack him for a lot. That's going to attack them for even more. What I'm going to do is say uh, defend not fully on that one. Defend a bit on that one. Attack will be on the... Uh, I probably want to work on the... 
probably the rat yeah and then i'm going to use burst to do the defense on the guardian and basically make it a bit of a non-turn so there's a lot of defense a little bit of attack but the main thing is i've only lost one health and they've lost two so economy wise we're, we're up on the deal and uh oh that worry is getting absolutely plastered so we're going to go with naturally the, uh, the the one that says um yeah again two times uh, shield value on full health characters so that that warrior will be healed up uh, shielded up we'll go for we don't need the extra healing i think i'm just going to re-roll and hopefully get some good attacks there's a two attack there's a two man i'm going to re-roll the last two which is okay so there's some more damage so i'll get the mana uh probably kill the rat uh shield up the warrior um heal up the acolyte and then we'll start hitting the wolf and then do another again shield there so it's six shields but because they're attacking me for seven at least one's going to get through but that's not too much of a problem and again that's going to be a big heavy attack from the boar there's good plus two damage uh, that's a good shield let's reroll those two once you've played this a fair bit you get used to the dice and uh you know the the risk assessment of it but hmm yeah uh, let's go for the wolf double attack there they're gone shield up the guardian increase the health temporarily on the acolyte just in case end the turn so it doesn't take too long to get into the flow of it and i found that um, although, you know, it does require you to think a fair bit about what's being rolled and checking out the dice. And I'm sure you could spend a long, 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 long time on figuring out exactly what is best for the, uh, for, like, the attacks and such. But, yeah, I, what is that on your shield one? Oh, it is on your shield one. Uh, just attack those, defend against that, cast that. I don't particularly mind the... To get the tap. Yeah, I mean, you can spend a lot longer, and later on, you will have to spend um, probably more time on checking out your heroes, what they're going to attack, what they're doing, basically, and trying to figure out the best course of action. But this stage, we can just sort of slice, let's go through it. Uh, two damage flanking, so it's going to hit the top and bottom. That's not ideal. Let's just uh, put at least some defense in there. The troll, that's actually just terrible in everywhere. And there you go, that's not ideal. So I'm going to defend up against that, which is fine. Defend up against there. Increase that by one. Do that and end the turn. So again, we're taking a bit of damage, but I'm not too bothered. The boar is going to do, it says four damage, but as long as we roll two, I'm <laughs> I'm uh, not too bothered about it at all. Good grief, we've only got one damage so far. Um, however, they're still already dead because I've got the mana there. So there's the two damage. Um, I could have done it other ways, but there you go. We're back to full health. We now have some new characters. We have a soldier and an evoker. So the soldier is pretty similar to the warrior. It would be nice to be able to move these around, but it's not necessarily. Like, you put them side by side, it would be nice. They are basically... Uh, very similar to the warrior the evoker is also similar difference being that it has three x's and three manners so there's a 50 50 chance of you getting something on nothing and then you can use your rerolls. um to be honest i'm gonna take the ev uh, the evoker is fairly poor they also have a beam which is three damage ranged can target enemies in the back row that's not bad that's not bad still gonna go with a soldier though so inventory you can see this is now uh coming to play this is our uh this is our sword don't know if it's better to just Put, put it on the adept actually to be fair it's not terrible because i always re-roll the ones anyway yeah why not <laughs> why not probably a mistake but let's see oh so we're versing a troll troll -a -lol -lol over here who is going to do two damage to all enemies and it's trolls blood regeneration uh one health per turn fair enough uh, there is a good roll attack three we'll pick that there is a cleave which you'll be able to defend against three there's a heal which i don't want in range one we're going to re-roll all of those uh increase health by one do one damage that's okay we'll re-roll that and then mana two brilliant so a mana two we'll probably put that defense there health up to that one we'll hit them for three hit them for two do a burst on the adept to get the defense on there so basically we're only suffering a bit of damage on the acolyte and the trolls lost uh, i lost a third but it healed up by one we roll the dice there we go we've got uh 
fairly poor roll, but I'm going to probably risk those two. I'm going to re-roll the rest. This is sadly a poison cloud that they are uh, firing out here. So it's Soldier, Guardian and Acolyte. That's a good thing. That's good. Fun. They're all good. That's job done. So we'll shield those up. We're still going to receive the poison, but it is what it is. Uh, sadly, I've got a bit too much defense for my <laughs> for my uh, needs, but there you are. It is what it is. And I'm just going to use Burst on... Actually, we'll, we'll use Restore. Sorry, what is Restore? One health to all of our allies. Don't want to do that. Slices one damage to all enemies. There's only one, so I'm just going to burst it and uh, take some health off it. So there you go. So they're on uh, five... Is that one, two, three, four, five? Eight health in total. Uh, damage two on the thief is fine. Increase health by one is... Mm, it's not too bad. Uh, defense one. I'm going to reroll all those. I don't fancy those that's not bad that's not bad at all shield two but doubles on full health none of them are on full health uh, i should point out they're doing cleaves which is three damage across the board i'm gonna have to go for defense really it's gonna be a bit of a non-round but it is what it is so we will activate that we'll do the damage uh we'll say defend there defend there and then more health there means the guardian's gonna take a bit of a belt and actually let's go for more defense on there and again just you know, do a bit of damage, just sort of survive the round, really. We need a, some better rolls on there. But the thing is, they are slowly chipping away at us now, which is a problem. That's another cleave, but we can go for a good defense. Uh, one of those, more health. I want to get some attack on this if I can. Uh, three, that'll do me very nicely. So defense on the middle, nobody's going to die, but the poison is there. Get that, and I'll go for some two damage, some three damage, and the burst to kill them. Job done. We now have a item, which is an anchor, self-shield two for the first turn, or longbow. Replace the top and bottom sides with two damaged ranged. Thief, that is perfect for you. Inventory over to the thief on there. So that's two ranged across the board. And we are now versing four archers and two rats. The standard <laughs> complement for an attack force. So we already have a bit of a problem down the bottom here. The adapt's going to be uh, taking some damage, in fact, dying. Um, we have got a trident there. Cleave, one damage across the board. I'll pick that. <clears throat> You know what, I'm just going to pick all this damage. We can take out a lot of people here. So, we're going to use Trident first, which is going to go for um, one of those, but then adjacent. So, the rat's down to two. We'll take out that rat. We'll take out that rat. And then we'll take out the archer on the bottom, because that will keep the one alive. Put some more health on the guardian in turn. So, already we've taken out half the opponent. So, that's uh, fairly reasonable. Um, damage is all on two on the red on Acolyte and one on that one. There's three, two. We roll the rest. Uh, that's healing's good. Shielding's okay. We want probably something decent on here. That is the opposite of decent. Okay, so two on red, so we can say take out those, take out those, and then shield up the soldier and put some extra teal three. Put on the guardian. Too. Economy's good. Once again, they're rolling. Two damage. I'm not bothered. It's it's, it's over with. Uh, yeah, done. Done dice rolling. Arch is gone. Okay. New new type of character. We have Sparky or a medic. Hmm. Okay. Sparky is two damage charge, single use. Charge bonus equal to your current mana. That's pretty good, but single use. And they have a, a zap. Kill an enemy with exactly 4 HP. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Medic is exactly what you may imagine. It's healing with cleave, so it also hits the side uh, adjacent ones. That's pretty good. I'm going to take the medic. Because, quite frankly, it has cleanse. Remove all negative effects. So, poison, basically. We've got a snake and a slimer here that I'm bursting. Right, continue. So let's see what they're going to do. It's going to be poison. It's always poison. Right, so we've got Guardian with poison, Medic getting hit. And that is, rolls-wise, poor. Let's re-roll those. Once again, fairly poor, but I can't really risk not selecting some. Okay, that's not too bad. So the Guardian I'm going to use to defend against the Medic. That's almost all of that health. We're going to go with... Uh, oh, actually, we'll go for undo. Again, very... I appreciate that the undo button's there. <laughs> and it gives you the ability to, like I say, undo the entire turn. 
unless some specifically is like like damage has been made or whatever but i can use my thief to kill the archer outright because it's ranged normally i couldn't do that so that means the medic's not going to take nowhere near as much damage so i'll probably heal up on the guardian we'll get ourselves uh three damage there uh burst on the snake snake now dies medic up and then hit the slimer the slimer again has got some symbols in there some of what we've seen with other ones and this is a split summon a, summon a slime lit when they get to that point fair enough so we're gonna attack us i'm not bothered it's just a little attack no poison again that's another attack with no poison but when we cause damage here it's going to take them down um that is a heal one regen we're going to pick that up that means a the regen one every turn that is fairly poor that is not bad that is okay we'll re-roll the other two uh don't particularly want either of those and that's worked out perfectly guard the one in the middle sadly this is going to do nothing but we can attack for two that's going to spawn another one but they don't get an attack this turn going to go for another burst to take them down to one health and then i'm going to medic up uh, the medic and that gives them a regeneration of one in the turn they'll attack for nothing because we've got shielding and now they're going to roll as well and yes their dice sometimes do contain blanks so the slimelets they have a basically three damage <laughs> three 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 and then nothing so fairly good anyway we're going to pick that one we're going to pick uh that one re-roll those two it's all about the damage here Ooh, okay that's uh more than snake eyes oh that's that's not great Okay, so it's fairly easy here. Take out the Slimer, take out the Slimelet on there because it's attacking, which means no damage caused. Take, uh, probably burst, there we go, and then we'll medic up the Soldier, end turn, and then it's back to, back to <laughs> the doing nothing, okay. So, yep, that'll do me, continue rolling, there we go, job done. We have a Twin Daggers, uh, which will go on the top or the bottom, which is replace the top and bottom with one damage cantrip, which is cantrip's really good. Uh, so I'm going to pick that one. Uh, and what that does essentially is it means that when they attack, uh, do you want to put up this one? Uh, basically, if they roll that, it's like a free it's like a free roll essentially. So I'm going to put it on that one instead. I think this uh, arms is fairly poor. Can you sell stuff? Uh, but I wonder if you can sell stuff. I haven't seen any place to sell, but there you are. The way that this works is when you have the um, cantrip, if you roll it, it activates immediately. <laughs> so it's like a free activation. Uh, we have four archers and three rats. I have a feeling that we're going to take a lot of damage here. Good grief, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, so there you go. So see that? We've rolled this cantrip and it's immediately hit the rat. So <laughs> it just worked out. I'm um, pretty happy with that. I'm going to... I'm going to risk a reroll on all of those dice. It might be a mistake, and I think it probably has been. Let me go for that and that and reroll that one. And oh no, that's actually worked out not too bad. So we'll shield up those there. Um, actually, no, undo. Can we kill anything this turn? We have the ability. Yes, we do have the ability to kill. I'm going to use both of our uh, both of our manners here to do slice which is one damage across the board so good economy there we're going to kill the rat that's attacking the medic we're going to defend with the medic and get the adjacent and then defend against the thief which means they are not going to die which is always handy as i said if they are killed or defeated whatever the term is they come back at the end of this fight on half health but obviously then you're starting to uh, go against the grain on that one. You really want to keep them up. Uh, right, so what have we got? Two damage range. We're picking that. We're picking that one. That is two damage. I'm going to re-roll it. That is healing, but with regen, so we'll re-roll that. And there you go. There's the <laughs> there's that rolling, which is brilliant. Uh, we're going to re-roll those two. I'm hoping for two... Oh, I was going to say I was hoping for two mana, but uh, sadly it did not work out. Um, so we're going to have to heal those. So nobody's going to die. I'm going to deal... Probably damage to that archer. I'm going to get rid of those. Going to also get rid of that rat, I think. No, maybe that one there. And then the turn. If I'd rolled just one or two, well, if I rolled two for the mana, it would have been a little slice across, and all of those archers would have just been taken out, which is a brilliant ability. But there it is what it is. Three damage, two damage, two mana. You know what, that's it. I'm just going to pick those, and that should be us fine. So I'm going to take out the rat. I'm going to take out the 
archer. I'm going to cast that to kill the archer, cast that to get my mana. Actually, you know what? Let's undo that and make it just a little bit better. So even if we kill, we can still undo and then slice across the board just for style points. We have a, another character. Caldera, and we've also got a ranger, which is got oh range and cleave. We're gonna pick those straight away. Back to the inventory because the bow is what I put in here before. Um, do I want to give this to anyone in particular? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, we'll do that, and yeah, this is another boss apparently, level eight of twelve. This is um Agonis, Margaret, and uh, who's that? Is that G or a Y? Anyway, they are. Witches. Oh, what? That doesn't look good. Two damage cleave. Summon bats. All sorts of nonsense. Right, let's get a roll on this one and see what happens. So, got a, we've got bats. One damage to all enemies. Witches brew is become immune to damage this turn when they get to these uh, green bits here. Okay. That's six damage. That's a, that's a lot of health to be taken off. Uh, so, we'll pick that. We'll go for... See, I'd like... What's this one here? Uh, that one there is range and engage two times if it's on full HP. I'm going to re-roll all those. Oh, that's not worked out. That's okay. That's what we wanted. Actually, it has worked out. I just need a bit of mana. Mm, that's not bad. It could have been worse. So this is double damage. So uh, just start from the top. There's the damage. Uh, we'll go for three damage, full defense on that one, and then go for a defense on that one. Not a bad opener, I don't think, but I do need to cause some damage to Agnes because I can't kill them next turn. Even though it's only four damage, they've got that witch's brew. Soldier's getting absolutely belted once again with a broom. Uh, we've rolled this, which is all okay. We'll pick up those two, actually those three. Pick up that and just re-roll this one. And again, just a cheeky little stab there. I'm going to keep rolling. and <laughs> Brilliant. So I'm going to go for an attack on there. But they're now Witched Brood. So they can't be... Uh, they can't suffer any more damage. I'm going to defend... Uh, actually heal the soldier up to then do a full defense. The reason for that is... Heal him for three. Takes him up full health. And then this thing is... Uh, it's times two versus target on full HP so we've got four defense so it was worth doing that we're gonna go with extra damage on this one which sadly again won't take them out but it is what it is followed by that one there so oh hang on ah so it says becomes immune to damage this turn so I thought it stopped at that marker it doesn't they will suffer the damage up to whatever you've like hit them with. Okay, fair enough. So I'll just I'll do what I did was fine. There we go and end the turn. So Agnes and Margaret are on three. The other one's on two. So it's not bad at all. Although there's going to be a, a lot of people dying if I don't start wiping things out here. There is um okay. Gonna pick that. Gonna pick that. I'm gonna re-roll the others. Pick that and pick that, and three damage. Okay, so we'll go for damage across the board. And I'm going to have to take out those. Shield those, medic themselves, and... Feels like it's wrong for some reason. Undo that one. So, take those out. So the only ones... Uh, it's just damage across the board. So what were they doing? Attacking those three. Oh, so it's probably best bursting those, then defending against them. Yeah, so now we're going to take no damage. And we can put the medic back up to full health. End the turn. Job done. Okay, that's uh, not too bad. They're going to, this turn, do three damage cleave. Uh, is it? Oh, two damage cleave. <laughs> We've already defeated them, but I'm trying to re-roll, see if we can get the summon thing. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> so, yes, that was the, um, uh, the, I call it invoking. I can't remember the proper name. Hang on. It is, uh, yeah, the cantrip. So it was just casting there. Right, we have chainmail, extra HP, or a fairy pack. Replace the right-hand side with plus four mana, but minus three HP. So that would put one of these right sides to be, yeah. 
plus four mana. Minus three HP? I don't fancy that. I think I'm going to go with Chainmail. And Chainmail will go on the Guardian. Make sure we keep those alive. But anyway, I think we will leave it there for now. That's a bit of Slice and Dice. Um... Yeah, it's a marvellous game. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun with it. It may look very simple, but I think it has a great amount of depth. It's also very easy to get into and very quick to learn, but also as you discover more enemies and different synergies and tactics uh, and things like that, it does become more difficult. Uh, this is the demo version for PC. There's also a demo available for... Um, I think it's freely available for Android and there's an app purchase to buy the full game. Similar thing, I think it's H.I.O. All the links will be in the description for the demos and the and the full game. But yeah, for the low cost, the amount of money, uh, amount of time I've put into it, it's uh, highly worth it. Not yet beaten it though, even though I've probably put you know eight to ten hours in or something like that. But yeah, very fun, very engaging, and just something I would recommend. Sadly, there's no sound. Uh, sorry, the sound is fairly you know. There's not much of it, and there's no music, which, you know, it might get grating, but it just maybe it's just a, something of note, really, that I, I, I noticed that was uh, missing in it. But it is what it is. Um, if you like what you see, by all means, feel free to check that link out in the description. If you've seen any errors or things uh, in this video where you say, oh, actually, I would have rolled this or not rolled that, or just like to hear your comments and feedback, as always, we'll go from there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.